Westover has never shut down during the pandemic. We've tried to keep ahead of the of, of it by doing everything we were requested by the health units and going above board to keep so we could keep the doors open. We have had to cut back a little bit on how many people we have in house just to keep the spaces, you know, so we don't have more than uh, two people in a room. Uh, we've had to do whatever they've asked us to do to stay open, we've done. We stopped using our dining room and now we use the gym for our for, for the food area because it gives more room to spread out. So you have less but, space but more people seeking your services. And we, our wait list has gone up. A lot of the centers closed during the first part of the pandemic back in the, in the May period, May and June. And when they went to reopen, they had a lot more hoops to jump through to get back up and running. So that put less places for people to go to. So there was more demand on us and we've started getting people from Thunder Bay and, and all across the province of Ontario looking for help. What do you what do you wish that everybody knew about substance use? That there is hope and that change is possible. It's not curable, but we believe it can be put into remission. And through treatment and the willingness, desire to change. And if you ask our program director about change, they'd say, what do you have to change? And he'd say everything. Because we have to change our thinking, our, our, our possibly our friends, where we play and things we do, but it's a change of attitude. The building was built in 1870s. The uh, original family, they came from uh, Scotland and when they got here, they got use of the lumber and they were involved in the lumber industry. They had a, a bank uptown, a general store. Uh, one of the brothers became a, a federal politician. They sold the house in 1950 uh, after the, the, the daughter had, of the owner had passed away. And then it became a nursing home. And then in 1984, the founders of Westover uh, purchased the building, but it wasn't until 86 until they uh, opened the doors and had the funding to start this, the treatment center. You know, it's very rustic, country view, more relaxed, it helps to motivate for for treatment and uh, the big part about our treatment is if you look at the big house behind me here it is it doesn't look like institutional it looks like you're part of a home and that's the ki kind of setting we want to give our clients we want them to feel at home here at Westover the substance abuse program uses cognitive therapy group counseling 12-step systems and motivational changes and one helps into the other and we we also talk during out your stay about uh, relapse prevention so even though it's only 19 days it, en it ends up they have got the information and tools to use to keep long uh, so sobriety for long term after they leave and it's followed by our recovery support program Normally we have it in 26 different locations across the province and it's a once a week, uh, one hour session. But since COVID's been in, we haven't been able to run those sessions in a lo location. So we've changed it to Zoom meetings and we run two Zoom meetings a day through the Director of, of Recovery Support and that's at 10 a.m. in the morning and 7 p.m. at night, Monday to Friday. If you're looking for different types of treatment, Give the Addictions Assistance Service a call at 1-800-721-3232 and we can explain all the program opportunities that are available here at Westover or any place else that will fit your, your desire for treatment. And please look up the Chatham-Kent Drug Awareness Council's website or their Facebook page and share.